So, um, it's me again. Uh, hello everyone. So, in the previous two videos, we talked about how we can create a pagination in PHP. Uh, but for this video, uh, we just want to make a very simple um, identification regarding which link is active. All right. For example, this is page uh, number two. But if we look at this, we it's very difficult for user to know if they are on the uh, the page number two. That in other words, page number two is active. So the way we do that is that we need to add an active class to the link which is currently active. For example, uh, it's two. So this one we should style it some way like have a background color or whatever but to make it uh, noticeable a cyber model all right so the way we do that is that we're gonna open our file again so this is what we worked last time so the next thing we want to do is to add an active class all right to the link so uh, in other words we say something like class all right all right and then we want um, We want to do it at uh, active, active. Um, this is not yet defined. We will define it above, but uh, just so you know that uh, we will insert an active class. So how do we know if it is active or not? If the link is not active, then active should equal to empty. All right, empty, which means nothing all right if it is the active page like page two then the active should appear like the word active like it should appear so that we can style it all right um, now we're gonna go ahead and define it so how do we know if we are on an active page you can do that by you go right to below this one and we go ahead and insert another if all right so if get page so if get page something like this equal to so we know that we already know what page it is all right um, if you also click if the user click on a certain page we will, we will get the page at this function for example page 2 so the page variable here is set to 2 all right so we, we can just run a check if get page which is the page from the URL equal to page which is 2 all right if the URL and the page when we loop here is equal together so we loop from one two and three that's that's for our um, database in this tutorial they will loop through three pages one two and three if they loop to the second page which is page two and the url also the pages from the url is also two that means the user is at the second page all right so um, we can just um, go ahead we can just go ahead and uh, set active equal active very straightforward all right and if it's not then it's not in a it's not an active one then we can just empty the active empty like this all right um, the next thing is we want to we should style the active class um, style we can just go back to the uh, has and we can have a style right here so we can have an active class here and we can style it for example color white and uh, background green and let's just go go back and then refresh the page 
and it's better than class 71 now let's go back and see if get page equal page All right, this seems a spare square bracket here, but let's go back and refresh it. All right, so yeah, um, pay two is pay two, pay two, pay one. All right, um, the thing is, it just have a little bit with the um, with the color right here, but you know where you are. All right, so we can just make this one take decoration to none. All right, and then. We can do that by going back and see color class style decoration none with a little color here. Press that. All right. So you see here, it two, right? It's here. It's three. Okay. So um, now you have an active um, class walking. So um, anyways, I hope this uh, video helpful for you um, in you know inserting the active class in your styling of the pagination. Thank you very much for watching.